YouTube, what is going on Basehead family? Thank you for checking in to another build video on Project Sequoia. Of course, Project Sequoia 2.0. And guys, this is gonna be a good video. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Basehead family, thank you guys so, so much for checking in to this video. Super, super exciting day. We have all the speakers in for the DS18 doors that we are doing, so we're gonna find out what all the hype is on DS18 and if it is a great budget option or if they're just crappy speakers, we will find out. We also have some awesome budget uh, 80 mil sound deadener. So we're gonna be putting a bunch of that in the doors as well. Also super exciting, the new bumper showed up. Ready to get this one off and get the new one on. Now this guy is just primer, it's not paint matched, but considering all this is faded anyway, not too worried. Uh, this whole car is going to need a respray here at some point. As you can see here, guys, we have eight mids and eight highs sitting over here, all from DS18. Now, I'm not sponsored by DS18 or anything. I did pay full price for these, but I really just wanted to try them out. It was a really good deal. I got all these for about 380 bucks, And I know a ton of, like, the truck guys are super into DS18, so figured I'd give it a try and see what we got going on. For the speakers, we got six and a half inch pro gm 6b speakers get a look up at these things they do look really really awesome big old motor on this fella nice red spider in there and i love the little billet dome they got going over here ds18 pro these things look really awesome I think they're gonna look great in the doors. And then we've got their aluminum super tweeters. These are the Pro TWX1. These of course have their uh, one inch voice coil. These are all four ohm speakers, but just awesome looking little super tweeters over here. Over here, we have some matte 66 Pro Black 80 mil sound deadening. For 50 bucks, you get 36 square feet. That is an awesome deal. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can pick these up from Amazon. I also have a amp coming in to power these. I'll go over that when that comes in, but we should be able to hook these up on the amp I have in there at the moment, and it should still do just fine. Y'all, I am so excited, and I really don't know where to start, but we're going to get into it. So if we sit in here, we can see we have a good two inches between uh, this guy right here and my buttons. Of course, we don't want the speakers to be rubbing on this. And I've got a good deal of room in here. So we're gonna, of course, cut all this um, out. And I think we'll have enough room for everything to fit, no problem. That being said, there's definitely gonna be a whole lot of test fitting just to make sure that all this fits and we don't hit the seats or anything else. see if this will close if there'll be any tolerance issues guys that looks absolutely perfect not in the way of anything plenty of room for the controls and plenty of room for a speaker to be right in there guys that is just what we want next I think I'm gonna trace out the speakers and then I do kind of want this angle to come up just a little bit more, but gonna trace out the uh, speakers first to make sure we're all good. And then if I can round off the edges, probably get a router, round off everything, kind of get it where I want it. And then we'll figure out how we're gonna secure everything and how we're gonna fill in, of course, all these holes. I think I'm gonna go with them like this. 
think that looks pretty good. Seems like all the speakers should fit there and they shouldn't interfere with anything on the door like that either. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace them out and then start cutting. those cut out and what I really wanted to see was just to make sure we had enough clearance and we have plenty of room that is awesome I think I'm gonna take this and cut it a little straight up there so it kind of lines up with that edge a little bit better but I think this side looks pretty good so I'm gonna round off that and then I can kind of round off all my edges <laughs> Moment of truth just to see if this will all fit. I mean, I think it will, but who knows? And look at that. Everything fits beautifully, guys. This just looks so, so incredible. I can't believe it. This is coming out really, really good. this side done so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna trace out the mirror image of it on this next board so of course this is the front on this piece so this will be the front on this piece I've got this all pretty much prepped. I've got a few more supports uh, screwed in from the back. So this is super solid. We wanna make sure it's solid and we wanna make sure this keeps its shape. Now, I do not have time to fiberglass this. I know that would be the best thing to do, but I just got too much else going on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill up all the gaps around the edges with uh, spray foam. That will get the job done. And then once that all dries, I can come out, sand it all down and everything. And then I can lay some sort of carpet over this or something like that. Not exactly sure. I'll figure that out when I come to it. So I went around, put in some more foam where there are any places where there were voids or whatnot, just to make sure that everything is nice and sealed up. Then I cut off the excess, and now I just gotta sand it, make it smooth. And then I've got some black pleather that I'm gonna be gluing down over it.
all this has me grinning ear to ear. This just feels so legit. And these door panels were super easy to do actually, so really, really happy with how they're coming out. All right, it is the next day. Got all these speakers uh, in there and screwed in. So now I'm gonna go around, cut off all the excess uh, pleather, and then we'll glue down anything else that is still loose, and we'll have this panel about done. Next up, gotta wire up all these speakers. Now for now, I'm just gonna use the little uh, stock connector that I have. If I want to, I can of course run bigger wire to a bigger external amp if I need to. But again, for now, we're just gonna use this so we can uh, plug it in and test it out. So for this guy, black is positive, green is negative, and white with a line is positive, uh, full black is negative. Now the way we're gonna have to do this, so all these are single 8 ohm speakers. So if we wire all of them in series, that will drop us down to two ohms, which is perfect. And then each one of these guys are four ohm tweeters. We have to run two in series and then run the two remaining plugs in parallel. That will keep us at a four ohms overall. We've got everything here wired up. We've got some of these little holders right here just to make sure that these wires don't uh, flop around or anything or get in the way of anything. Don't want there to be any movement where these crossovers are. Well guys, we got this one done. I am so, so excited. Came out really, really well, guys. There's still, of course, some cleaning up and stuff to do with the uh, pleather and just everything to get it all perfect. But I am so, so excited and it sounds really, really awesome. Now I gotta put all my clips back in this door and you'll notice if I put those in, they're real wobbly, which can be a problem and it can create some noise. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to put a little bit of electrical tape on that. All that you got to do is put a little bit on there. And then just shove it right back there and it makes it really, really solid. Y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. Next video, we're going to have the other door card done. So we'll get that in. We're going to put in some sound deadening and then... I'll give y'all a full demo of the new speaker setup. So that will be an awesome video. That'll be the next build video on the channel. Uh, between them, I've got a really, really exciting sub review for y'all. This is by far the biggest sub I've done on this channel. Slight spoiler here, it's got a four inch voice coil, so cannot wait to show y'all that. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it. Y'all have a great rest of your day.